Why would our universe have a minimum quantity of space and time? One answer could be that our three-dimensional space and the continuum of time are part of an emergent geometrical process. These videos explain a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking that is based on Huygens' principle of 1670 that says, every point on a light wave front has the potential for a new spherical light wave. Each point on the wave front represents a potential photon electron interaction or coupling. We also have an electron sphere surrounding the atomic nucleus of each atom of the periodic table. When there is an absorption and emission of light, there is an exchange of energy in the form of a photon electron coupling or dipole moment. When this occurs, the energy levels cannot fall below the center of the sphere, which is the nucleus of the atom. This is due to the process being proportional to the square of the radius and the two-dimensional spherical surface of the sphere. This forms a minimum amount of energy and time forming a constant of action that we see mathematically as the Planck constant linked to 2 pi representing the circumference of the sphere.